Hi, Valerie. This is Kerry Seller from MMA UK. How are you? Hi. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. I'm really excited. You are a huge prospect. Uh, I've been reading up a lot about you and your Taekwondo career and everything. Um, one, congratulations on a fantastic martial arts career, and congratulations on your Bellator debut. How did this all come about? Oh, thank you, and it's very nice to hear a woman um, speaking about MMA. That's awesome. <laughs> that doesn't um, happen often. <laughs> yes, I know. I love it. Uh-huh. Um, no, so I've been I've been training my whole life. I I come from traditional taekwondo. Um, my dad has had a school in Miami since 1985, and um, we're all black belts, we're all fighters, and I really grew up very rough, and at the same time, my mom wanted me to be very beautiful and elegant, and that's how Vagi Loretta was born, and now I'm here pursuing my, my true passion, and the whole world's going to be able to see me and meet me uh, next Saturday for the first time. When did you realize that you wanted to do mixed martial arts? So um, I fought at a world championship in Korea in 2017, and then I fought my last from the tournament of Pan Am in Las Vegas, and after that day, um, I just, I mean, I just saw it on the TV, and I just knew that it was for me, and what I could do with it, and my potential in that sport, and the way I could incorporate traditional martial arts into it, and set a good example to the world, so that's when my, my hunt began to get here, where I'm finally going to be able to debut next week, and that's amazing. How has your fight camp been so far for this fight? No, it's been it's been a dream come true for me. I really sacrificed um, a lot to be able to, to live in Coconut Creek and move away from my family and and really be an individual and and um, expand as a martial artist in the best um, camp in the world with the best woman in the world. So I've really um I've gotten a lot of experience and increased my level and um just so honored and. I'm proud to be representing American Top Team. I'm very excited to be fighting for them in that cage. Who has been the most influential person that you've trained with over there? Because they have some beasts, some fantastic ladies, super talented. We know there's a bunch of champions out of there. Who's been the most influential that you've trained with? Um, you know, I wouldn't say one in particular, but um, I was an amateur. But, you know, the way I saw how humble these fighters are and how willing they are to always help and teach me something because they want to see me get better every day was the most mind-blowing experience for me because it, it's incredible the way that um, some of our girls helped Amanda train for that fight and the week after her fight was said though she was already back to train with these girls because they helped her for her camp and it's just it's very humbling to me to see these stars and how hardworking they are and how down to earth they are and the way that they do give back to martial arts as well. So just every single one I've trained with, I've learned so much from and um, I've shared, um, they've shared their knowledge with me and I've just become so well-rounded, not just in my fighting potential, but mentally as a martial artist. Absolutely, and, and you really do train with I mean, amazing people, not even just the women. You train with some fantastic people over there. But, you know, back to the women thing, because I really, I love everything about you. You're so young. Mm -hmm. uh, you have such an amazing career ahead of you. There's, there's a sky's the limit at this point. Um, now, you're fighting, you're fighting for Bellator uh, next week, yes. correct? Yes. Um, you're fighting at Flyweight? Yes, Flyweight. Okay. So... We have uh, Alima Lay McFarland. She's their uh, their flyweight champion, and she's so talented. Um, I know that you're so new, and you're having your de Bellator debut. Obviously, that's going to be in the works for you, and that's something you're going to be working towards. Um, how how impactful is it, and how I mean, I wouldn't want to say stressful, but what is it like knowing that that's something that you're going to be working for one day, going to face Alima Lay? You know that. Um First of all, she was, she's so nice. She um she when MMA Junkie first um uh, uh put out my story, she actually tweeted about me. She was like, "Hey girl, I love your story. Welcome to the Bellator fan." And that's the Hi. type of respect and honor that comes with being martial artists that 
I continue to con that I believe should continue being shown in MMA. That's what we do. We're martial artists, um, uh, fighting each other, not just for fun or, or talking bad to each other. So first of all, I really respect her a lot. Just for that simple comment, that meant a lot to me, and I'm very happy with the example she said to other women who are watching her fight. But um, I know not stressful at all because um, I've always just shoot it for the top and. I've always been a go-getter, and um, I know that that's there one day, and right now I'm really focused on 2019 and and really evolving in martial arts the way I want to, and um, really just introducing myself to the world and, and um, setting a good example. And what does it mean to you to be a woman in mixed martial arts today? This is a huge uh, time right now with the women's movement that's going on and, you know, the respect that we're getting. What does that mean to you? You know, it makes me want to cry because um, <laughs> I just, I, I know I'm so special and I, and I know I was born to do big things and I know that this is one of them. And since I was little, you know, my mom, she just, my mom, my parents sacrificed everything um, to give me and my sisters an amazing education. But at the same time, we're also amazing martial artists and my mom um, really made sure that we were still very feminine and, and beautiful and young from sparring and, and that whole thing my dad brought to the table. But um, to me, being a woman in, in martial arts, people look at me and say, Valerie, you're too pretty to fight. What are you doing? And I look at them and I say, how could you say that? You know what I mean? Like, it just it blows my mind the way people think of women in mixed martial arts. And that's one of the biggest factors that brought me into this sport because I was like, yes, I won the Olympics, but the MMA, MMA is evolving. MMA is the next big thing. I saw the way it's developing so quickly, and I told myself, Valerie, if you're going to make a change in this world and you're going to change the way people perceive women as martial artists, you're going to do it with mixed martial arts because this is a platform that's going to get you there, and this is a platform that you're going to be amazing at, and this is the way you're going to be able to influence other little girls around the world, and it's amazing to me now how even at American Top Team, I'm training, and I see the moms with their little daughters, and now mm -hmm. they let the little daughters train and spar and, and put on their gloves, and for me, that's the biggest satisfaction out of the sport, knowing that I'm giving the opportunity to other girls to feel confident in themselves as being fighters, you know what I mean? So I'm just really excited about that, and, and I know that I'm going to really um, influence a lot of women and, and just show them you could do it. You could fight. You could spar. You could get hit. You could be bruised everywhere. But you could still be beautiful and you could still be useful and you could still go out and be very delicate and um, elegant. Absolutely. And there is an absolute huge misconception that, you know, women, if you're pretty, you shouldn't fight and you should be a model. So I think that's super inspirational and that's a huge message to get out. Uh, out there to young women, especially because, you know, there's no reason that we can't be pretty and be badass at the same time. Yeah, and, and that's my biggest problem. People don't understand how I do it. And people judge me for that because they see me walking through the gym. You know what I mean? I have, if I don't look pretty, if I don't have at least my hair on when I'm training, I don't train well, but that's who I am. You know, I always have my purse in one arm, my sparring bag in the other, and I'm ready to fight. And Everybody knows that no one could change that because I, I was born like that. Absolutely. That's something that's either ingrained in you or it's not. Um, now, I, I want to talk about something that I would think I would be pretty foolish not to. You uh, competed on the Olympic team. Uh, what, what, what Olympics were you in? No, I never fought in the Olympics. And that's something oh, people that like want. I competed in the Olympic team. <laughs> No, I fought at a world-class level, and um, I fought the world championship in Korea, and then I okay. fought at the Pan Americans in 2017, but I never made it to the Olympics. Okay. Would that be a goal of yours, maybe in 2020, or you're just going to stick to mixed martial arts now? No, 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 no. I'm in mixed martial arts for a reason. That was my goal since I was young. I wasn't able to pursue the Olympics because my mom, unfortunately, got sick, but, and I had to hold back a little bit. I had to help my sisters at home, but um, MMA for me is my dream. Nothing else could take that away from me. My sisters are actually on that path to the Olympics for 2020, but me, it's pure MMA, and I'm completely dedicated to this platform. 
That's amazing. What inspires you to be able to train and fight at the level you do? Because at the end of the day, you know, you're training every day. Um, you know, a lot of people, fans, don't realize the dedication that it goes into uh, having a fight camp and even just being a fighter. Um, how do you, you know, how do you get through all that? You know, um, people, um, people think that it's just fighting, that it's just training, and oh, training's your job, that must be a dream come true, but you know, this sport, especially for a woman, it's so hard on our body, and just mentally and physically, you know, and um, every day I'm just going through it, and I think about my future, and the legacy I'm going to leave, and the way that because I'm doing this, I know other women know that they will be able to. And um, every day that drives me knowing the, the example I'm going to set. And I'm just really looking forward to um, everyone seeing the confidence that I have as a martial artist and woman and all the values and disciplines I learned growing up that made me this person. And um, really that drives me every single day. And, and nothing has ever been able to take me away from training as hard as I do every single day and um, nothing ever will. I'm not letting anything get in the middle of my dream and this is going to happen for me too. I've really devoted my whole life to this. Amazing. I, I love it. I love your tenacity. Your, you have such a passion and it's amazing. Thank you so much. Mm-hmm. You're, you're welcome. And um, I wanted to ask you a couple things, a couple more questions because I know we do have to wrap this Wait. up. Uh, one, I'm going to want you to plug your social media. <laughs> <laughs> my social media, my Instagram, Vali Loretta. My Twitter, Vali Loretta, I think with two A's. My Snapchat, Vali Loretta with two A's. And my Facebook, Vali Loretta. I have all the social media. Amazing. And where um, where can everybody see you fight on fight night? So I'll be fighting in Wuhan, Connecticut, and it will be streamed on Dazzle. I will actually be there. <laughs> I'm really, oh, really, really excited to see you fight in person okay. uh, and to meet you in person. It's gonna be, it's gonna be amazing. Yeah, it's gonna, it's gonna, this is my dream that I've been waiting for my whole life. It's, and this is a great dream. You couldn't have a better one. Um, is there anybody that you want to thank? The floor is yours. You know, I want to thank Bella for because they were really when they offered me this um, fight, you know, I just, I knew just by seeing the organization, how professional everyone is, um, just what a high caliber they treat other fighters at. And, and I just really want to thank Bellator for giving me this opportunity that I'm really going to change the world with and I'm forever going to give back to them and train as hard as I can and be the best version of myself and best example I am for Every, everybody around me because of this opportunity they've given me to be on a platform that I can influence the lives of thousands of people. Absolutely. And I so look forward to your journey and everything that's to come to you, come to you and for you. Um, and I just wanted to ask you one last question. What can everybody expect out of you on Fight Night? Everyone should expect an amazing performance and just me being me and just a happy Valentine's Day because I want the world to fall in love with me and I oh, want to show the world how in love I am with um, with martial arts. I think you're my new favorite. I am so excited and I cannot wait to meet you at Bellator in no. a few short weeks, <laughs> not even a few weeks. Thank a you week for your professional business. <laughs> oh, thank you very much. I love doing this, and you guys are the reason why I do it. So I wanted to thank you so much for taking time out of your training and time out of your day because I know it's a lot. Um, so thank you so much. And, again, we look no, forward so much you. to seeing you fight. And keep doing what you're doing. I love it. Oh, thank you very much, Valerie. I will see you at Bellator. And, again, I'll thank you for your time. <laughs> no, thank you. I'll talk to you soon. <laughs>